You miss me? Yeah, I took a little break, but look at the hair. It's going out nice and long. Women, you don't want to touch me at all, do you? I like being alone. It feels good. <sighs> now, recently, if you guys have heard, there has been a stir up because Clippers owner Donald Sterling apparently is a racist. Now, how do we find out about this, you ask? Apparently, there was a recording between him and his mistress where he let out a few racist tidbits. Mm. Now, in this conversation, he stated that he did not like her blasting out on social media how she hung out with blacks, or specifically, Magic Johnson, old time. But you already know I'm ready to talk about this, so y'all already know what it is. LGI, baby, let's get it, let's go! Why the fuck is everyone so surprised? Oh, didn't think I was gonna say that, did you? Hmm. Now, to no one's surprise, this man has faced multiple lawsuits about his racism and how he conducts his business. So, my big question to you now is, what's the big deal now? He stated that he did not want Latinos to rent from him because, well, obviously, according to him, all they do is smoke and loiter around his buildings and black people because, well, they stink and they attract vermin. And to that, I say, bitch, who you calling stinky with your h and self looking like a deflated marshmallow? And you know what else this motherfucker said? He said he likes Korean tennis in k -Town because we just take his shitty living situations and never complain about it. Really? What the fuck are you talking about? Do you realize that Koreans are the most angriest Asians on earth? Do you even know how the Korean War was started? Huh? It was one Korean leader, he was so fucking angry that he got in a fight with his own reflection. <laughs> Listen, Donald Sterling is like one burning cross away from a Ku Klux barbecue. <laughs> when I saw a picture of him, do you think I was shocked? I don't give a fuck what you say. He has to be at least 120 years old. He's racist? Are you surprised? Of course he is. Look at him. He looked like he owned a couple of slaves at a certain point. <laughs> How much you want to bet if you walk behind him and you whisper some slave lingo, he turn around so fast? Excuse me, man. Yes? I mean, no, that's not my name. What? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't, uh... Yeah. Racist bitch. Now let's talk about his irrational thought process here for a second. How do you hate people of color when you own a basketball team? You don't want black people at your games? What you want, 90% of your team missing? <laughs> the only black dude on the Clippers that might get a pass from Donald Sterling is Blake Griffin because he says he's half black, but I still don't know what the fuck he is. Mm. Why Blake Griffin look like he dyed his hair? and does white face. <laughs> you ever notice how racist people look at Blake Griffin? They look at him like he's a Picasso and shit. <laughs> hey, get the fuck out of here, you fucking... What? God, what, are, what are you? Is he white? And on top of this, I don't know if it's because you old as fuck, but did you realize that your mistress is half black, half Latina? According to your remarks, you should probably dump her real soon because, you know, she gonna be smoking and loitering in front of your house. Stinking up the place and bringing vermin in, right? You dumb bitch, I hate you. Mm. Which brings me up to the fact that there's a good half of you people out there that are praising her for what she did. You recorded his racist ass. Good job. Good job that despite the fact that you already knew how he was as a human being, how much he hates and has belittled your ethnicity and your culture, that you would still be with him and eat from the palm of his hand. Because we all know you with him because he a great person, right? Wrong. It must be because of his good looks, right? Wrong! It must be because he's a billionaire on the verge of fucking death, right? Ding, ding, ding! Cause we all know if the dick ain't good, I bet the money feel better. Now whether you agree with his beliefs or not, and I'm not condoning his racism cause I hate that part about him, but you could tell in the conversation that she was constantly egging him on to drag out his racist remarks. Lady, you are not a hero. You took a private conversation and you fed the media exactly what they wanted in the most sleaziest way possible. Good job. Acting like you robbing her to shit. More like robbing the grave, bitch. I said it. You know, it's funny because despite the fact that the Clippers organization already knew this stuff about him, it took a leak of a private conversation for them to actually do something. So let me ask you this. Why now? Now, why would an organization who already knew about his past behaviors and how he is as a human being just suddenly decide to make a scene about this? You know, it's kind of funny how powerful money is, isn't it? And how it can change public perception. So let me ask you something else. If this conversation was not leaked despite everything they knew about Donald Sterling, would the Clippers organization or the NBA, in fact, would have done anything about this? Hmm? Now, I don't know per se, but I will tell you this, he has been a part of the Clippers organization for three decades and then some. So I guess issues of social justice really aren't that big of a deal unless you sweep it under the rug. You know, it's kind of sad, isn't it? How decency definitively becomes a fine line when there's money involved. Hmm, think about it. Oh, what is going on, YouTube? If you can tell, my hair is long and I'm sweating in this room because it was 100 degrees today. Spoob sweat. 
But yes, last week I was not available. I was a little bit run down and I was tired, a little bit sick because I had not been sleeping because I've been working so hard. So if you guys want to know where I caught my gear, it's always at goforbrokeapparel.com. And yes, this is the special white label shirt that comes with a different fabric and of course, special etchings in the clothes. Yes, it's that tight. So remember to cop your gear while it's on sale. Yes, it's on sale right now because I love you guys. And of course, all the other designs that you saw before, yeah, last week, we ran out. Sorry, you missed out. But yes, thank you guys for being patient for one more week. I really needed that break to rest up. And of course, I will see you guys next Sunday. And of course, on Wednesday for Funny, Fat, Fit. I will see you all next time. have heard ha conversation that was recorded conversation if you have heard it now fuck this hair about his races how he conducts his he conducts he conducts his belly fat in 2003 he was accused of 19 what the fuck are you talking about uh, oops Mm -mm, unprofessional. Hardest time verbally abusing break now. In a different fabric with special S. What was special? What the fuck is special? For our spring line, we started off with this wonderful, wonderful white. What the fuck is going on? Jesus, here we go. Hey, the fuck you looking at, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Back it up. Do you even know how the Korean War was started, huh? Man, mm. Do I even know? Shit.